the sound test room. Hello and welcome to The Sound Test Room. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is a tutorial video and I'm going to show you the easiest way to install synthesizer presets using an app we all know about. Now I use AudioShare for a lot of different things and installing presets is one of those things I use it for. There I go repeating myself again. AudioShare includes a built-in web browser and you can access it by pressing this button down here looking like a globe. You'll get the option of Wi-Fi drive or web browser and all you have to do is press web browser and the web browser pops up. Now for me it loads up the last page I was browsing and it was Google Sweden because that's where I'm from. A lot of people seem to think that I'm British and I have no idea why. Either way this browser allows you to download and unzip presets into AudioShare directly and then use the opening command to send it to other synthesizers. Now I've given away presets for a lot of synthesizers in the past. A few of those being Argon, Thor and Nave. Now Argon is a bit special. It's an older synthesizer and you can't really use the opening command so you actually have to go to iTunes to install those presets. And most of the time I don't even want to touch iTunes. I like it when it's cordless. So installing presets using AudioShare is preferable. Now let's say you wanted to download the Thor presets I made a while back. Let's go to my Hackvlog18 post. It's just a video log where I'm talking about the Thor presets I'm currently doing and I will be giving those away in due time. And if we scroll down here I'm linking to other posts where I'm giving away Thor presets. And let's say you want them. So let's go into the synth farts post and we go down here and here you can find the link for a zip file with the presets inside them. All you need to do now is simply copy the address and then go back to AudioShare and simply paste it into the built-in web browser in AudioShare. Press go and it will load up the site. When it's loaded, you go down to the link with the zip file and you tap on it. It will download instantly and it will ask you if you want to unzip the package. Yes, I want to unzip the package. Now, as you can see in the background, a folder popped up with the presets in it. So just press done when you're ready and go into the folder. And here you can find the fart presets and they're ready to be installed. Now, the problem with this is it takes a lot more time installing Thor presets this way. Nave, you can actually export and import an entire bank, but you can't do that with Thor. You actually have to send them into Thor one by one. Quite painful, I know. And let's say you have like 100 presets you want to install into Thor, then maybe iTunes isn't that bad. But doing it this way, you're mobile and you can do it anywhere. So you don't need any laptops or cables to actually import presets into your synthesizer. Now to import them into Thor, you simply choose a preset and then you press on this icon right here and you will have the open in command right there. So that way you can open it in Thor, it will send it into Thor, Thor will open up and if you check in the preset browser you can see that there is now a little round red circle with a number one in it and that means one preset has been added to your inbox. Press the inbox and here's the imported fart preset. You can use this method to install presets from other synthesizers just using AudioShare. No cables, no computers needed. And regarding Wi-Fi, my iPads are not mobile iPads, so it doesn't have a cellular function. So I'm using my iPhone to connect it to my iPad and I'm using the mobile net on my iPhone to actually browse internet and other stuff. So that's the easiest way of actually installing presets using AudioShare into your most favorite synthesizers. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney and me, Jakob Hack at thesoundtestroom.com wishes you a very productive week. Yeah, yeah.